Welcome to the Floral POS. In this video, we're going to show you how to do a wire out using 1-800-Flowers Bloom Nets. First thing we're going to do is we're going to click on the wire, the wire button here. And then we're going to click on wire out. We're actually going to flow the order like normal. So you're going to build your shopping cart. Throw some roses in there. We're going to select our customer. And we're also going to select our recipient. Delivery instructions, and last but not least, card message. When you're done, you're going to take payment. And when you get done taking payment, it's going to actually prompt you and ask you if you want to close the order. We do not want to close it because we want to wire it out. Go ahead and click on your wire out button. And then select Bloom Nets. Now the next step usually would be to hit the Select Floors button. But uh, since we're still on our development system here, um, that does not work inside the, the development. So I'm going to type everything in here. Once we are on the live network, you guys will be able to actually click on the Select Floors button and then it will populate with all the floors that are around your recipient's area. Okay, so I'm going to actually put the code in here. And then the last thing I'm going to do is click on Send. Actually, this is a pretty good um, error message that popped up because it is a little bit later in the day. Um, it actually says here, unable to send order message from BloomNet. It has passed the cutoff time. This order is not accepted. So that means basically we can't send an order to this particular florist because it's past their cutoff time. So what we have to do is if, um, if we can, we can set the delivery date for a later day, which is tomorrow, and save our order and then go back into our system and go ahead and select BloomNet once again. Kind of a pain in the butt having to type all this stuff in here though. All right, almost done. So I'm gonna go ahead and send it back to that shop again. You're gonna notice that once you send it, it's gonna check mark all these here, so everything's been selected. It's also gonna give you a BloomNet order ID. Uh, once I X out of here, it's gonna automatically suck all this information to the bottom of your order. So now you don't have to actually do anything special, you can just see everything down below. Um, if you happen to wanna see any of the messages that you send and receive back and forth from 1-800-Flowers, you can go back into your wire out um, screen and at that point you can actually click on your little uh, email or message center button here and that's going to show you all the messages between you and your um, and 100 flowers or the other florist. As you can see here it shows the error message that we just had come through and also shows that we sent the order itself. Once the other florist does accept the order it's going to automatically give the, the accept notice and uh, I'm going to go ahead and pause the, the video and wait for that to come through so you guys can see that. Now, once you once the uh, the filling floors has accepted your order, you're going to notice down below in our message center that uh, the order accepted alert has popped up. So it says order accepted, and then also here it shows when that order was accepted, the time that came through, and then it shows message Bloomnet order accepted by filling floors order number 200. So it's basically just an FYI for the most part. You could just hide the alert or get rid of it, and that's going to hide it on all stations. Or if you really want to, you can click on the action button. That's going to open up the order and kind of show you the message center too. So let's go ahead and do that. There you go. So open up the order and actually open up the balloon that message center here. And you can see up top here it says order accepted. Shop code blah 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 has accepted your order. And that's basically how you send a wire out inside the floral POS using Bloomnet.